So I got a couple neat shotguns to show you today. They're pretty rare. This is a Young Repeating Arms Company trap shot shotgun. Uh, Charles Sparrow Young was a, a ranking trap shooter uh, turn of the century, and uh, he developed this gun uh, and tried to manufacture it, and I, I don't think he made very many. I've got two of them, and I've only seen a few others. So they're pretty rare. Um, it's a pretty neat design. Uh, Sparrow Young, his nickname was Sparrow as he was trap shooting, and uh, he uh, he had set some records, shot the first hundred straight maybe in something, and won the Grand National, I think, uh, shooting some of the first straight uh, matches that there were. Later on, he shot for Baker Gun Company, and I think he represented Winchester. I'm not sure on that. Later, after this was a failure as a, as a gun. Anyway, it's a pretty neat design. It's a two-shot repeater. Uh, it, it works as a forward operating pump, like that. You can see inside the mechanism here, there's a, there's a little lifter in here that you can release underneath, and you can load a shell in here and put it down in there and then put another shell in the chamber and close it. And when you fire, it ejects the one you just shot and then it, and this pops up and loads another one in there and you're ready to go for your two shot if you're shooting doubles with trap. So just pretty neat design, pretty unique. Uh, if you're just shooting singles, you can lock that little follower down here, with that lever, and uh, it stays shut. Uh, here you can see some of the engraving there. It's got serial number on it and uh, tells the patent dates and then on the top of the rib is the Young Repeating Arms Company, made in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. So pretty neat gun. I'll probably shoot them here a little bit so you can kind of see how they work. This is my other Young Repeating Arms Company uh, trap double repeater. Uh, so I've got two of them. They have different engraving. I've seen one other one that really had profuse engraving of a dog, etc., on this side, and. It was just really a beautiful gun, but it, it had been cobbled pretty bad. As is the case with most trap shotguns, they get run hard, modified. People don't care about them. It's a tool for them to shoot better, so uh, they get run pretty hard. Hard to find them in really nice shape. Okay, here's how you load this gun. This little lifter, you push the cartridge in and you down and back, and there's a little thing that holds it there. And then the next one, you just put it in the chamber. And you close it and you're ready to fire.